So this morning, I spent quite a bit of time listening to a graphic audiobook. So I listen to a lot of my books, and lately I've been noticing more and more graphic audio books available through a couple of different apps that I use. And I've never listened to one. And I've kind of heard the pitch on it. They advertise it as a, a movie for your mind or something like that. Um, and basically what it is, is graphic audio versus audiobook. Graphic audio has voice actors in it. They have music. They have sound effects. You can hear people walking, swords clanging together, all that kind of fun stuff. So it's supposed to be more immersive. So I tried it out. Um, I'm currently rereading Warbreaker. And one of my subscriptions I have has the graphic audio version of that for free. So what's the harm, right? So put it on, play it for a little while, see how I like it. And overall, I'm not a fan. I'm just not there. It has some really good qualities for one. Like I said, it has a lot of extra sounds in it. So you get the, the birds chirping and the, the background noise and that I, I kind of do like that. Um, that adds a little bit to it. Some of the voice acting is fantastic. Like Warbreaker, for instance, half of the cast, the, the characters, instantly become very, very Irish. And it's just wonderful to hear all of them with a very thick Irish accent. It's, it's so fun. I'm not sure if it's Irish or Scottish, but either way, it's great. And it made me realize that I may want more regular audiobooks narrated by people with a Irish accent because that's just it makes for a wonderful read the characters just ah they're just that much more lovable than that with that accent I don't know maybe that's just me but the thing that really really did it for me as far as not being a fan is that the way it's done with each character having their own voice actor and then the narrator being completely separate at least in Warbreaker, the narrator is kind of removed from the environment. He's, you know, he's the observer. That for me was just so jarring to have these very into it voice actors and then a narrator that was completely separate. One of the things I love about books and reading books and listening to books is you get inside the character's head really, really well. Something you can't do with movies or TV shows as well is really get inside the head and see the world from their point of view. And I feel like the narrator just being so separated from that really took me out of it. It felt more like a movie, which for some people I guess would be a benefit, but for me it was a negative. And I know there's a difference between when the character's thinking specific thoughts and when the narrator is speaking in general terms from the character's point of view. And consciously I know that, but when I'm reading a book or listening to a, a regular audiobook, it flows so much better that when you're in that person's perspective, when you're in that person's point of view, the narrator becomes part of how you see the world versus just a third party bystander. And that was really the, the killer for me is it just kept pulling me out of the world. So I don't think I'll be reading a whole lot or listening to a whole lot of graphic audiobooks in the future if I have some more that I find that are for free. I may try it out with a different series, um, different author, maybe a different style works better for this. I don't know. Uh, but so far, not a fan. And that's okay because I got a lot of audiobooks already and a lot of physical books. So I feel like I'm pretty well covered in that area. But, you know, let me know what you think. Do you like graphic audiobooks? Do you prefer them over regular audiobooks? Have you tried them? Have you not tried them? Have you not heard of them? Let me know. I'm, I'm very curious to see where people fall at because it takes a lot of money to produce a graphic audiobook. Like all the different voice actors, all the sound effects, all the editing to do for it. It's a whole lot more of a production than a regular audiobook. So I'm curious if they're actually seeing a lot of people prefer that method or if they're just still pushing it and trying to get it out there and it'll eventually fade off and die. I don't know. If you know, Put it down in the comments, let me know. But I just wanted to share my thoughts on that this morning, something I was experimenting with. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see y'all in the next one.